action around eight. Christie digging with that left hook to the body, right hand, but look at Mia fighting right back, looking right into the eyes of Christy Martin and saying, come on. Wow, what a determined look. She feels like she's a winner already. Well, she said, uh, you know, at the very top of the show, I'm a winner just being here, no matter what happens in this fight, and no matter what happens in the last two rounds, as four more minutes right. of boxing goes, this girl's a winner. Kenner, Colonel, look at her face. She's she still looks cover girlish. Yeah, she does. <laughs> hey, the ninth round, Christy Martin and Mia St. John, most didn't think it would be this far, and it's been an interesting fight. Christy really wants to try and take her out. Mia's happy with anything that she can do to hang in there now. And she's making a real good account of herself. Christy getting back to boxing now. Digging to the body downstairs, a light shot taken. I'm just amazed at the physical condition of Mia St. John to be able to gobble up the body shots that Christy Martin has hit her with throughout the course of the fight going back to the first round. I mean, cracking, slashing shots to the body throughout the course of this fight. as one to the head that time. I'm also surprised that Christy hasn't been able to dump Mia. Uh, does that say something well, about the punching power of Christy? Or is there any Christy, if she would utilize her jab more and come over with that with the right hand, she might be able to you know, uh, hit me out here like that. But uh, she's so concerned about just working the body over. I don't think she thought Mia's rib cage uh, would, would hold up. Uh, Mia's also learned a little bit uh, from being on all of those Oscar De La Hoya cards, because some of her little maneuvers and side movements and angles are De La Hoya-ish, if you will. Oh yeah, she's a, she's a better, more slick fighter than ever at any time in her, in her career. And she's showing that, twisting the shoulders left and right. And meanwhile, she's losing you know, just about every round, but surviving against Christie, no, 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 even no, no, though you, you, you hate to say it's just a, a question of survival. I mean, that's what her goal obviously is, and she's doing it, and she's thrilled with the fact that she's in there, and uh, there's 36 seconds to go in the ninth and next to the final round of this uh, this fight. And yeah, Christy, I heard. Christy, on the other hand, you know, you talked about the president's speech, she's feeling the frustration that she had going in here, and now I'm sure she's frustrated with, with what's going on. But you know something? It might set her up for another huge payday against uh, one of the other two big attractions of the step side of female boxing, and that, of course, you'll see Arika and Layla Ali. Well, the uh, promoters, Don King and Bob Arum, knew uh, that these two, you know, would add to their cards. Don, Don having Christy and Bob having uh, Mia. Look at Mia fight back here. Look at this! Around. And she caught Christy right at the bell with a left hand. And again, for the third time in this fight, the crowd is on its feet here in Michigan. Wow! Put your hands up when you back up. I have this 89 to 83 for that young lady, Christy Martin. Pretty much winning every round. She's trying to get a good hook on. She knows she'd lose the fight. You're winning the fight. Are you sure? Oh, I know you're winning the fight. You lost the fight. You're not looking me in the eyes. We haven't lost the rank. I can't believe this. Don't look at that head up here. Look at it exactly the same. 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 Look at it exactly I think they're just shocked that they're still here. End of the round. Watch this action. Bob Christy coming in. Working the body again. Mia's not going anywhere. Comes back with a nice left hook of her own. Doesn't have the real power to hurt Christy Martin. But she's trying. What she lacks in power, she certainly has a desire. Listen to the crowd. And again, to start the round, everyone on their feet here in Pontiac, Michigan. Let's go. If you're enjoying it at home as much as they're enjoying it here, you're enjoying this night of boxing. All right, this is it, the 10th and final round. Christy Martin trying to take out Mia St. John. Mia has not been down in this fight. Christy hasn't been able to stop her. Needless to say, she hasn't been able to stop her, but she hasn't been able to drop her. And she's had, well, she's had flashes of bringing herself to time. Mia strength, though, too. Look at how strong she is. Look at this, Smitty. Look at them, toe to toe. There's no quit either one of these women, right to the finish. It surprised me, Mia's never been to the death round in her life, and they're battling like two warriors. They right, 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 right. warriors, no yeah, You think Julio Cesar Chavez and a few other, uh, even the late Salvador Sanchez, and they would be proud of, uh, of Mia with her performance. She's not just trying to survive, she's trying to win this round and the fight. Well, I'll tell you this, if you're not a a uh, female boxing fan or haven't been and you just happen to be catching this pay-per-view someplace, I bet you're a female boxing fan now. You couldn't ask for more desire or a better show put on by two women. Uh, you couldn't ask for it by two men any better than this, I'll tell you that. 
49 seconds to go in the fight. Toe to toe, they've been for the first minute of this fight. Christy wants the knockout so bad, and Mia won't have any part of it. Neither fighter has been down. Neither fighter really visibly shaken during the course of the fight. Christie's loaded up a huge amount of body shots during the course of the fight. And Mia has had, well, six or seven or eight different times and she's landed shots, surprising shots. She hasn't been able to shift Christie, but she certainly has made it interesting. And the crowd chants Mia, Mia, everything really going against Christie except the scorecard. I, I asked the question, how would she react to the power of Christie Martin? We see the result. Ten seconds to go in round ten. She's weathered the storm. She hasn't won the fight. Okay, the closing seconds of the fight. Let's see if they finish with a flurry. And it's Mia who bangs Christie on the break. And they load up one final shot. And there's the bell ending the fight. Well, I'll say this for Mia St. John. I got to congratulate her on a tremendous effort. And Christy Martin, who had a lot going against her coming into this fight, we congratulate her on winning the fight. Wow, it was certainly uh, a... You know, a terrific contest to watch. Uh, it was interesting as we really looked for the situation where Christy Martin would knock out Mia St. John, and it wasn't going to be, as you see them hoisting Mia up on the shoulders. Well, for Mia St. John, it's a victory. It'll ultimately go down, in my opinion, as a victory for Christy Martin. I have it 99 to 93 for Christy Martin, but uh, uh, Mia St. John is more than just a, uh, a centerfold. And I get it 99-92, so uh, one way or the other, uh, I think the judges will have it someplace around the way we do. Action in the last round was uh, heated. Look at Mia landing punches, left and right. Christy battling right back, really working hard for the knockout. All right, Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the decision, so let's make it official by going to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon. Take it away, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judges at ringside, Jim Humayun and Rosemary Grable both score about 97 to 93. Dario Chiarini scores at 99 to 91. All three in favor of the winner, the WBC Women's Pound for Pound champion, the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. All right, we got to get out of here. We thank you for tuning in. We thank our promoter, Peter Klempker, our producer and director, Marty Korn, John Ruby from Spring Communications, and for our entire production staff, but Jimmy Smith, Cassandra Henderson, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan saying good night, everybody. So long from Pontiac, Michigan. Okay, one more and that's it. Okay, all the way around. Thanks. Okay,